platforming tutor uh, tutorial series. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be doing enemy AI, which is an exciting part. Um, so first things first, let's make the enemy. So let's insert a new active object. And we'll make this guy red so we know he's an enemy in the middle. Okay, so we got our enemy now. Now we need, first thing we're gonna do is gonna make him shoot. So we're gonna insert yet another active object. Make it a little bit smaller. Oh crap. Um, again, I've made the mistake of putting both of these on the wrong layer. So let me do that. Okay, um, so let's make this smaller. It looks a little bit more like a bullet. Actually, let's just make it red. Okay, we got our bullet. Um, so now what we're gonna do is first of all, um, um, usually what you guys might be accustomed to is making it like every couple seconds the guy shoots. But I'm going to do a different thing that makes it look a little bit better than just having them shoot every couple seconds. And it makes it look more realistic. So uh, I'm going to do, uh, actually under here, every one millisecond, okay, add to alterpool value A1. Okay, now new condition. Alterable values compared to one of the alterable values. Alterable value A is equal to one. Uh, is equal to. Um, let's do 25. Will work. Let's do equal or greater just to be on the safe side. Um, then the player shoots. I'll tell you why we do that in a second. So shoot the object at a speed of let's just do 100, and launch in direction of our player. Make the game a little bit harder. Okay. Now, the reason we do this is so that um, now we can make a new another new condition where <coughs> um, every like let's say five milliseconds, um, and insert another condition. Um, actually, it's under here. Uh, I'll pick your count, pick active shoot at random. Every uh, five milliseconds, pick one of these and set the alterable value. Set alterable value A to retrieve data from an object. Generate a random number and then write in 24 so that it generates a random number between 0 and 24. Okay. So we've got that. Um, the reason we do that is so that now, if we try this, now it's a little bit more random. And actually, I forgot something. Um, we also have to make it so that when he shoots, edit. I mean, no, not edit. Um, it has to set the alterable value back to zero. So now let's try it. So now you see it's a little bit more looks more human, it's more random when he shoots. Um, so that's good. Um, it'll be, it'll, he'll, this will vary, This it won't happen as often as when we get more enemies in there. Um, so, you know, it'll, it'll look better once we get more enemies. And we might actually, uh, when, you, when you end up putting tons of enemies in the level, you might actually lower that um, to make it more random. Um, so we've got his shooting. Now, what, what's wrong right now is, even when, even when the guy gets really far away, he's still shooting at him. Even though in real life that would be way out of his range, and even when he's like right up above him, he shoots. Um, we don't want that because again, humans wouldn't be wouldn't they wouldn't really shoot right up above them when they're just shooting. Um, 
wait because they couldn't see the guy so um, let's do a new condition and now we're gonna actually we're not doing a new condition um, we insert to this one add to this one and we make it now it starts to get a little bit more complicated uh, position compare X position to a value so first we're gonna do the range um, so if it's lower than retrieve data from an object position x coordinate plus um, let's make his range 250 on each side and then we copy that over so we have two now and we edit it make it greater and change this to minus so basically what we're saying is um, if the x position of our enemy is um, 250 pixels away from this guy uh, or more on either side then he stops shooting so let's try that so as you can see he shoots when you get close and then when you get farther away he stops shooting and when you get close again he starts shooting again so oh, wait because we don't have that many enemies let's change this to go, go a little bit up because it's not very good right now okay so we got that um, but now we have to make it so if if he's above the if he's if our player is above him then he doesn't shoot either so we're gonna do pretty much the same thing only with the Y position so insert uh, position compare Y position to a value is um, lower trade data from an object the position y coordinate of our player plus uh, let's do 40 for this one and then do the same thing copy it over edit change it to greater and minus okay so let's test that out so as you can see if he gets closer he starts he's shooting at him but if he stays away, he does, he stops shooting at him. And if he's above him, he can't shoot at him. And then as soon as he goes down, he starts shooting. Okay, so we've got that. Um, next thing we want to do, make the enemy move toward our person, uh, which is also pretty exciting. Oh, by the way, another thing you could a little tip here. If you have your character um, moving, uh, if you have if your character is moving, what what you can do is you um, here, let me just show you that real quick. Uh, you change this and you do every one second and insert um, enemy direction compare direction if it's facing any of these ways okay if it's facing any if it's facing that way any of those ways um and you just do just that one which I'm pretty sure actually that's the wrong one that's for right we're looking at left so is left of that and we do this one and we edit it to just X active so that way he only shoots him if he's on his left side if he's facing left and then you and then you would also copy these Y ones in and then it's all the same um, and then you do the exact same thing, but you switch these directions and you switch these. And then you would make it so that he, if he's looking in one direction, you can't shoot the opposite direction because he wouldn't see him. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is making the enemy move toward our player, um, which is pretty simple. So make a new condition, um, enemy position doing x position compare x position to a value it's lower 
if it's lower than retrieve data from an object, then the player position x coordinate. If it's lower than its x coordinate, means it, which means it's on the left side, then make it move right. So you do uh, position select set x coordinate to retrieve data from an object. Position x coordinate plus one, and then you can do it more than one. Uh, if you want to make it faster uh, so we have that and then we do the same thing for the opposite side and we gotta change this to greater and edit to minus one and but first of, but uh, the problem with this is if we do it um, then the this guy will overlap him, so we want to make it so he doesn't get too close to him, and just in with to make sure he, to make him within shooting distance. So we'll add to here that so that um, edit and we change it to less than so that if he's out of shooting distance, then he moves toward him. We change it to. Uh, greater. And let's actually change it to 220 just to make him a little bit more uh, uh, further in the fire distance just to be on the safe side. So let's try that now. As you can see he moves toward him and if he gets out of firing distance and he keeps moving toward him. And then but one problem we have here is even if I'm sorry, my mic just fell out. Um, even if okay, I'll just hold it. Uh, even if the player is above him, he still moves toward him, which we don't want because he can't. He's supposed to not be able to see him if he's up here. So we will just make it where we'll just make it be um, this way. It's um, we'll make it a, a little bit less than forty to make sure that he's on the same platform as the your, the player is. So let's make it, um, let's do 5. Okay. And then do the same thing here. Now if we test it, boom, he moves toward him. You could draw him over here. And then you could go up here and he doesn't follow you anymore, which is pretty good. Um, actually, I don't know if you saw that because the, my screen was up. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so getting used to my new screen recorder. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it for this lesson um, on enemy AI for platforming games. The next lesson will be... Um, I'm not sure I'll think of it when I start the next lesson. Okay, see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.